Hey, Divine Ones, y'all come in. Come in with me. Y'all come in with me. I got a real quick word. I got a real quick word, y'all. I got a real quick word. Y'all come on in. Come on in. Look, y'all, this one going to be really, really, really quick. Like, I know I always say that, but I'm for real. I'm for real. Because I ain't got my truck. And um, I'm in the house. And the children on 100 in the, in the living room. So, I'm going to have to try to go and say what I need to say and get off for y'all hear any screaming or anything like that. But listen, y'all. Listen, listen, listen what God is saying. <clears throat> I was trying to push this off, but he wouldn't let me push it off. It's just, it's in my spirit so heavy because God put an urgency. He put an urgency in my spirit to get up here and let y'all know because he said somebody, he said somebody about to settle. He said they about to settle. They about to settle. Can y'all hear me? Somebody said they can't heal. Listen, y'all, if that's, if you can't heal, baby, just leave out and come back in because it sometimes that might be what it is, just something going on on y'all end but listen let me get this out real quick he said somebody getting ready to settle and i'm not just talking about relationships okay i'm talking about business i'm talking about life in general god said relate this to any area of y'all life you getting ready to settle and listen to what god say he said i'm gonna need you to keep trusting in me i'm gonna need you to keep holding on to my word and i came up here to remind somebody let y'all know that god is faithful god will do just what he said he would do and yes, you can have it all. For anybody that done told y'all that you can't have it all, for anybody that done told y'all that, you know, you, you need to just be satisfied with what you got. You need to just be happy with what you got. Let me tell you something. I used to tell myself that all the time. I used to say that. And, and that actually wasn't me speaking. That was the enemy speaking to me. That was it. See, you got to know how to how to how to discern these thoughts. Know when thoughts are coming to you that are not you. Know when thoughts that are coming to you that that's not of God. See, that type of stuff that was not of God. But I used to have them type of thoughts. Like I remember when my when my children was smaller than what they is now. And like they was in diapers and stuff like that. And I used to just be like, Lord Jesus. Like it was a lot of days I couldn't afford to get no pampers for them. I had to borrow money to get pampers. Go ask the neighbors when uh, y'all got some extra formula milk until I get my wig, until my wig voucher renew. Y'all know about them wig vouchers, baby. You get that baby milk on the, on the, they give you the voucher for the milk. And when the baby be done, y'all know these babies be greedy too. When they be done drunk up all that milk and you ain't got no money to get them no milk. Who I'm talking to, baby? Who I'm talking to? And I used to be sitting up in that house like, Lord Jesus, this is my life. This is my life. This is this is what I this is what I chose. This is what I settled for. And this is my life. And then the enemy will come in because that, that's how he do. He love to kick you when you down. He'll come in and say stuff to me like, oh, you know, you, you might well just you might well just accept these because this good as it going to get. You ain't never going to have nothing else. You know, you yell this your life. Yeah, you might as well just accept it. Don't even try to ask God for nothing else because he ain't got nothing else for you. You didn't do what God told you to do. You ain't in your purpose. You don't. He just come just just trying to tear you down, tear you all the way down. He see you already down and then he come trying to kick you while you down. But listen to what God is saying, babe. God say that is not your life. Y'all hold on. Hold on. Carter. Y'all excuse me. Y'all excuse me. Y'all already know. Y'all already know. Mama do this. Mama do this. But I'm still going to get this out. Okay, so listen. Listen what God say. He said, do not settle. He said, I know you've been in a season where it seemed like this is the best it going to be. And you might as well, huh? Bring it to me. And you might as well just accept. You might as well just accept it. Uh-uh. Come back over here, baby. All right, there you go. Take it to the table. Close the door. Okay? Listen. You do not have to just settle. 
for what the enemy throw on you. You do not have to just settle for it, baby. Do you understand me? You, if you listen, God say it's somebody that you you let you if you sitting in that situation, you sitting in that season, and it's like the enemy just coming in like a flood, baby. But let me tell you what the scriptures say. The Bible say that when the enemy comes in like a flood. The spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard. God will send his spirit in. Okay, well, God is lifting up a standard on y'all today. God is lifting up a standard on the enemy. The lies that he been telling you that this is just your destiny. This is your life. You might as well just settle for it. God said the devil is a liar. He said, do not settle. Do you understand me? Because at the point that you about to settle, this is what he's, this is what God is saying. He said, right at the point where you was about to settle, he said, your blessing was right there. Your blessing was on the other side of that door. Your breakthrough was right there on the other side of that door. But God said, the moment that you settled, he said, you just came into agreement with the enemy that I can't be God. He said, you're not giving me a chance to be God. You're not, a lot of y'all, you're not holding on long enough for God to come and show up, for God to come and show out. Cause let me tell you something about God, baby. He faithful. Faithful. He faithful. He more faithful than any man. And he more faithful than any woman could be. Do you understand me? God say, I am not a man that I should lie. Do you understand me, baby? He cannot lie. So if he told you that he was going to deliver you, if he told you he was going to bless you, if he told you, baby, that he was going to send you that special person in your life, if he told you that he was going to make you a successful entrepreneur, if he told you that he was going to heal your body, one thing about it, two things for sure, you better know that God can't lie. He cannot lie. So that's why I felt that urgency in my spirit. Because God said, some of y'all was about to get ready to settle. I heard y'all in the spirit. I heard you saying, well, you know, Stuff like this don't come around every day, you know, or people like this don't come around every day. The devil is a liar, baby. God said, come out of that scarcity mindset. He said, I need you to tap into an abundant mindset because if you a kingdom ambassador, if you are ambassador for Christ, you got to know, you got to understand that your father is wealthy. He is wealthy. And, and for everything that the devil lie and tell you that there's a shortage of in God's kingdom, baby, there is an abundance of it. I don't care how many folks out here uh, going rogue. I don't care how many folks out here acting the fool, acting like they ain't got no sense. God got some folks. Do y'all hear me? God got some folks. God got some men. God got some women. God got some queens. God got some kings on his side. And they know how to act. Okay? And they know how to treat you. But God say that's not the problem. He said the problem is your faith, baby. Where is your faith? Glory be to God. Don't settle. Do not settle. Do you understand me? You better not settle. Because God say, listen, he heard, I, I, he took me in the spirit. Let me heal some of y'all. I heard some of y'all testimonies. I, he literally took me into the future, took me in your destiny. And I heard some of y'all testimonies. I could hear y'all saying, man, Toy, I'm so glad I ain't settled. I'm so glad I ain't go with that. I'm so glad I waited on God. Ooh, God had something just, ooh. And God gave me something so good. God gave me something so awesome. I don't even think about the other person. I don't even think about the people that did me wrong. I don't even think about the people that left me they don't even matter come on now they don't even matter when you get what god got for you baby them, that's gonna be a faint memory you you ain't even gonna remember them folks you what's what's his name what's the name yeah that's how good god blessing gonna be but you got to wait on him baby you got to wait on him don't give up on him because he'll never give up on you. Think about all the crazy stuff you done did. God could have threw his hands up and say, oh, I'm through with them. I am just straight sick of them. Every time I get them out of something, they go right back and get in it again. God could have said that and God could have gave up on you, but he didn't. So why are you going to give up on him? Give him a chance to be God. Give him a chance to show up in your life. Don't just be grabbing the first thing that you see. Thinking thinking that I got to get this. I got to marry this person. I got to be with this person. Or I got to settle for this. Or I got to put up with that. I got to put up with somebody putting their hands on me because, oh, well, at least he paid my bills. Or I got to settle for this type of woman. No, you don't. No, you don't. Do you believe in the God that you serve? Come on now. Do you believe? And God says some of these fast talking folks coming around trying to get y'all to link up with them and do business with them and do this and do that. God said, you better wait on me with that too. He said, don't you just settle? Don't settle. And he said, don't be looking at these folks platforms and stuff thinking that just because they got a platform. Come on. Just because they got a platform and they got some followers and they got a brand that is going to be good for you to link up with them. God said, no. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. See, God don't judge people the way man judge people. God said, look not on the countenance. Don't look on the outside. It ain't got nothing to do with the outside. God looking at that heart. 
That's what God looking at. Do y'all understand me? God looking at that heart. So that's the way he want us to judge people. But we can't do that except we got his spirit, y'all. I'm telling you, please wait for him. I know it get tempting because we in this microwave generation. We want our stuff pop, pop, bam. We want it quick. But I need you to wait on him because what God got for you. Listen, baby, the Bible says that the blessing of the Lord makes rich. What? Now you tell me what devil can give you something like that. What? The, it, it ain't now, baby. The blessing of the Lord makes rich. And listen what it say. It adds no sorrow to it. Meaning that God will give you something that you will have to like go before God every day and just be like, Lord, it, are you sure I'm worthy of this? <laughs> are you sure that this is mine? Like this is for me. You made all of this just for me. You created all of this just for me. You did all this just for me. See, that's why you got to get your mindset right. Because see, if your if your thinking is too low, if your idea, if you're not in tune with your true uh, your true Christ identity, you will talk yourself out of the stuff that God got for you because you will be still listening to the lies and them old negative toxic thoughts from your past saying that you don't deserve this and you don't deserve that. That's why the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Change your mindset first. Enter into his kingdom mentally first. And then you're going to get all of the physical things. You're going to get everything else. It's going to come to you. You ain't got to go to it. It's going to come to you. See, you got to get on the frequency of what you want. Do you understand me? You don't have to go look. Oh, glory be to God. When you get on the frequency of what you want, baby, you don't have to go looking for it. It will come to you. Get on the frequency of what you want. What that means? Start feeling, start thinking, start talking like you already got it. Start. You, you can trick your mind. You can trick your brain into believing that you already got it. So God said we got to stop chasing a feeling. Stop running behind things. Stop running behind people. Chasing a feeling when you can give yourself that feeling. You, I can sit right here in this chair and I can give myself that, that feeling. I can sit right here in this chair and I can affirm myself. I can tell myself that I'm beautiful. I can tell myself that I'm loved. I can tell myself that I'm happy. And guess what? If I say it enough, I'm going to eventually start to believe it. That's how I change my mindset. That's how I change my life. And I'm telling y'all, you can do the same thing. You can do the same thing. You ain't got to wait on nobody to give you that. You got to wait. And then God said, when, when the person does come, you're not a burden to them. Come on now. You're not a burden to them. Why? Because you done handled your business. You done took care of your business, but you become a burden on other people. When you rely on them to carry you, when you rely on them to affirm you, when you rely on them to tell you who you are, they can't tell you who you are, baby. Only you and God can do that. So God say for my single folks during this time, during this season, God say, I'm going to need you to get with me one-on-one. -on -one. Let's work on this identity. Let's work on your thermostat. Yeah, let's make sure your thermostat is set at the right temperature. Because as, as long as your thermostat is set at the right temperature, no matter how hot it get out here, no matter how they laying down, falling down for the devil, dancing to the devil tune, doing what, all, the, all this stuff. Y'all see all this stuff on social media? Come on now. God said the, the environment might change, but God said as long as your thermostat is set, you can stay the same. God says, stay, st be still, unmovable, steadfast in him. He said, you got to be like a tree pr pr planted by the rivers of water, always abiding in the works of the Lord. You got to stand still and let what you want come to you. Y'all better listen to what I'm telling y'all, baby. The Bible say, I ain't never seen the righteous forsaken. Do you understand me? I ain't never seen a child of God that didn't get what they prayed for, didn't get what they asked for. I ain't never seen God forsake his chosen ones. He ain't never did it. And he ain't about to start doing it now, baby. God just looking for somebody that's crazy enough to believe. He looking for somebody that's crazy enough to wait on him. And I told God, baby, I don't care if I'm gray haired and bent over and limping. I'm going to wait till he come because I know what he give me. I'm going to have peace with it. Okay. I love y'all so much. Don't settle. Cause you going I hear you saying in the spirit, Ooh, toy, baby. I heard your video, what you made that day. Uh-huh. I heard your video, baby. And, and, and I made a vow to God that I wouldn't settle. And now look at what I got. Now look at what God gave me. Now look at what God blessed me with. Come on. Now you better not be selling for Bobo Nim. Bobo Nim. Don't be selling. Come on now. Y'all know. Don't be selling for these folks, baby. When God got royalty, God got royalty for you. Do you understand me? God said you have been faithful. You have been faithful. You think God gonna, you think God gonna have you out here doing work for Him 
You think God going to have, y'all better go look in the Bible at some of these folks. Look at God, folks, baby. God take care of his folks. God take care of his own. Do y'all understand me? Yeah, we have to go through some things. Bible say many are the afflictions of the righteous, baby. Yeah, we're going to go through some stuff. We're going to have our seasons where the devil going to be laughing. He's going to think he done won, but God is faithful. He's going to come back and redeem you. Do you understand me? And he's going to give you back not only what you lost, but he shall give you double. Do you understand me? You better go look at Job. He's going to give you way more than what you lost. He's going to give you better just because the enemy touched you, just because he put his hands on you, just because he was trespassing and he walked on God's property and touched you. He all out of his jurisdiction trying to get you to fall, trying to get you to trip up. God said, just because he did that, he said, I have a, a supernatural, extraordinary blessing with your name on it. But I'm going to need you to wait on me. I'm going to need you to wait on me. I'm going to need you to not get in a hurry. I'm going to need you to not dance to the devil tune. I don't care how many folks dancing. God said, so you going to dance? Catch this in the spirit now. He said, so you going to dance? Just because they dancing? He said, you going to lay down your morals? You going to lay down your values? Lay down your standards and your integrity? Just because everybody else doing it? Y'all know how we used to tell these children. I still tell them not. You going to jump. If, if such and such, if little Bobby and them jump off the cliff, you going to jump too? See, we got we to gotta stop. We got to say, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. So everybody laying, so it's everybody fornicating, everybody laying down before they make it to the altar. So you gonna, you, gonna, you got to do that too? You going to do that too? Uh-uh. God said, wait on me. He said, don't, don't settle. Don't settle. That's a trick. That's a trick of the enemy. And the same way he started tricking us back in the in, in the garden, he's still tricking us like that today. So don't don't fall for his lies, baby. Don't fall for him coming with all the little subtleties and, and trying to whisper in your ear and tell you that you need to you 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 probably need to go, you probably need to go on and go with this. No, you probably need to go on and wait on God. Okay? Don't sell. I love y'all so much. I am Latoya O'Kill, and I'll check in with y'all later.